us a like no matter what I know, no matter where we go. He loves us. It's awesome. Who? Who? You know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. Me and you at the Wonder Clubhouse. Me and you. Oh, hey friends, I'm Poppy. My friends and I like to make games for each other. Today, my friend left a note saying that he hid four bean bags in the clubhouse for me to find. I'm going to look for them. I found a bean bag with a sad face on it. And one with an afraid face on it. That's two bean bags. Do you want to search for another bean bag with me? Get ready. Let's look high. Let's look low. Let's look this way. Let's look that way. Do you see it? Oh, there it is. Great job! We found it! Do you know what kind of face is on this beanbag? That's right! It's a happy face! I'm so happy that we found one, two, three beanbags! But my friend said there were four. I've looked up and down and all around. I've looked here and there and everywhere. But I still can't find the last bean bag. It's got to be here somewhere, but I just can't see it. I'm so frustrated. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Poppy. Who? Who? Feeling a little frustrated, are you? Hey, Ollie. My friend hid some bean bags for me, but I can't find the last one anywhere. Sometimes things are hard. It's true. I know someone else who is frustrated, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, no. The mail is sticky today. Oh, hi, friends. I'm Justin, the mailman. I'm frustrated right now. My friend helped me put the mail in the bag, and I think he had syrup on his hands from breakfast. Now my letters are all sticky. Oh, <laughs> do you ever feel frustrated? I have a story about someone who felt frustrated. Do you want to hear it? Okay, great. Let me just unstick this story mail and put it in the mailbox. <laughs> Today's true story from the Bible begins with a man named Moses. Moses was the leader of God's people, the Israelites. But look at his face. He is frustrated. Can you show me your frustrated face? Oh wow, look at all of those frustrated faces. Moses is frustrated because he's been trying to lead the people and do what is best for them. But they keep complaining. First, they were hungry. So God sent them bread that rained down from the sky. Then they were thirsty. So God made water come out of a rock. Moses thought for sure that now they'd be happy. But do they look happy? No. They wanted more food, different food. They wished they were back home. 
No matter what God did, they were whiny. And Moses felt, look at his face, frustrated. So Moses went to talk to God. Moses asked God, how am I going to lead all these people? Why is it my job to take care of all of them? Can we talk to God when we feel frustrated? Yes, we can always talk to God no matter how we feel. Moses talked to God and told him that he felt frustrated. God heard Moses and loved him. God listened to Moses. Then God sent people to Moses to help him take care of everyone so that he didn't have to do the job alone. God loved Moses when he was frustrated and God helped him. Now tell me, do you ever feel frustrated? Of course you do, we all do. Like when we build the tallest block tower ever and then it falls down, that is frustrating. And it's okay to feel frustrated sometimes. God loves you no matter how you feel. God loves you no matter what. Oh, hey Ollie, tell me, who loves you no matter what? God loves me no matter what. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you no matter what? God loves me no matter what. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story, and it's all true. God loved Moses when he was frustrated, and God loves you no matter what, too. Thanks, Sally. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, Moses was so frustrated, but God heard him and helped him. God loves all of us, no matter what. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I'm still frustrated about the last bean bag. Maybe Mr. Bear can help me think. Where do you think it is, Mr. Bear? Hey, wait! It's the last bean bag! And it's a frustrated face. See you guys next time. Bye! Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs 3, 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs 3, 5.